Hello, here we're going to do a demonstration of the blank nest module of the forming suite. We've started by importing this blank. Um, you can import a blank from either another forming suite module, such as uh, FastBlank or FastForm, or one of your own CAD systems that using an iGIS, a STEP, or an AutoCAD file. So the first thing we're going to notice is that we still have the, the wizard layout that's going to walk us through every step to finish the process here. We'll start by selecting the material. And what the, selecting the material does is it will let us do cost analysis at the end, assuming that you have all your material costs put into material library. So then we'll put the thickness in as well, and we'll then define the layout parameters, which lets us define the distance between blanks and the blank to coil edge distance. And then by default, it's going to ask us to do the nesting a one up. So we'll start by doing that. And you'll see we've got the um, visualization right here, and then we have a chart of all the different one-up, it's calculated 100 different one-up scenarios with part utilization ranging from nearly 62% down to 55%. So you can look through them, it will show you, you can choose the one that's best for you, and if you do have this material cost put in, it will also give you uh, the blank cost and the total cost for the entire pro uh, process. You also have the ability to do a two-up, mirrored, and cutoff dies. And at the beginning of the process, if you had imported a second blank, you can do two blank nesting as well. Just for example here, let's do the two up one. Okay, now you see we've got the exact same layout. It gives us a whole um, different bunch of two up possibilities, and it will give us the visualization for them. And then you can sort these um, by any of the categories here at the top as well. Uh, you can also then export both the image up here and the chart below so that you can do comparisons on paper as well. You can export those as an HTML file or a Microsoft Excel file. And that's all there is to the blankness module. Thank you.